Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will quickly have a look at enumerations and also how we can use them in switch statements. So if we quickly have a look at this simple example where we start off the day as a zero, and let's say the zero represents a Monday, one represents a Tuesday, two represents a Wednesday, and we go on and on and on until we get six, that's a Sunday. Now, I could have also declared this as a string and then have a day of the week there and then I'm testing for something like Monday there and let's say we could have had this one as a string and we can have that one as Monday and let's say I've got this one as Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and so forth. So another way to do this, let's just change this back to a zero there and this one also. So another way of doing this is using what we call enumerations or enums. Now, why would we use enums before we go and see what it is all about? Now, if the problem when I am typing something like a zero here to represent a day, in the first case, it's not very descriptive on what I'm doing here. I'm seeing a case zero, a case one, a case two, a case three, a case four, and so forth. But I'm not actually testing for a specific day of the week. But I know my zero represents a Monday. I could have done the same with gender. Whereas a zero represents male and uh, one represents a female and maybe a, a two represents, um, you know, something else. But it's not very descriptive. So I could have changed this now to string and then have the days of the week as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which make it a lot more descriptive. But the problem here is the compiler cannot check this for you. Because you are using integers, integers has a whole range of values. Uh, so it can go from zero up until 20 million. And he cannot really, the compiler cannot really check whether you are using correct values or limited values for this specific use case. Also for gender, uh, the compiler will, if you're using integers like a zero or a one or even strings, I mean strings are uh, unlimited on the amount of characters it can take and whatever it can be. So um, using these type of constant values or literals in your code could make your code less readable and also confusing to the compiler. Well, the compiler just actually ignores if you've got a wrong value in there and your problems will start popping up everywhere. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at what is an enum and how can we use this also in a switch. So an enum is a user-defined type consisting of a set of named constants called enumerators. If you use enums instead of integers or string codes like I've explained now, you increase compile time checking and you avoid errors from passing in invalid constants. For example, I could test here for a 7. Let's say I, I tried testing here and there's a 7. And uh, unfortunately, in this piece of coding, I used the 7 to indicate the Sunday. But in a, in a piece of coding later on, I use it as a 6. So the compiler doesn't tell me that there's actually no 7. Because it accepts any amount of int or any value for an integer. So you increase compile time checking and you avoid errors from passing in invalid constants and you document which values are legal to use. So let's see how we can change this to include enums. So you can see enums, I need, I cannot do enums inside of a method. So I must be outside of a method and I can even be in another class. But in Dartpad, uh, let's just have it outside of our method here. So you start declaring enums by just saying enum. And then the name of the emails, the enum. So in this case, we're going to use days of the week. So I'm going to call, I'm going to call this enum day. And now I'm going to specify in these brackets what is the valid values for day. So I'm going to say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So basically what I'm doing now here is I'm creating my own type and this type is called day. It's not called integer or string or double. It's called day and the only valid values for that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and now wherever I use this in my coding it will stay only these values and I cannot use anything else but also how I spelled it here is very important. Now if you click on format uh, you can see it leaves it as it is in one line. But should you want to have that on a, 
uh, well, every value on its own line, you can just add an extra comma at the end. And that's quite useful also in, in Flutter later on, where in any type of list in Dart, where you place a comma at the end, it will actually format it nicely for you so you can see it underneath each other. Very helpful in Dart with widgets. Okay, so now let's try and use this enum now. So instead of saying int day equals zero, I'm going to declare this as a day. That's the type. And then it wants a value there. So I will just go and say day dot. And you can see it gives me all my valid values. So let's start with a Monday. And now when I testing here, you can see I'm passing in day. And I can test here for, let's say, day dot Monday, the first one I test for. Now I'm going to just remove the last one, case number seven there, just to, to show you something. Uh, that's the Sunday. Um, so let's use this one then as day dot uh, Tuesday. And this one should be day dot Wednesday. So you can see it gives you some auto completion also there on the specific days. And I can use Thursday now. And I cannot make an error here because if I type something like uh, moon day, uh, you can you can see it's going to give me an error there. So I cannot use something else than actually those values I specified at the top. So let's say this one is Friday. And then this one is Saturday. Right, so now I've tested everything, but I left out Sunday. And look at the switch statement now. It now tells me line 18 is missing a case clause for Sunday. So automatically, there's some error correction even before your coding is running. You can see, ah, I forgot one day. I, I did not test for one specific day. And then I can go and I'm just going to add just some sample text there. Uh, day dot Sunday. And I'm just going to say on a Sunday, it is the sun. The sun's day. Okay. Right. So now you can see this looks a bit more descriptive because I'm I'm checking for the Monday and a Tuesday and a Wednesday and a Thursday and so forth. So there's only a set of values I can choose from, which makes it a bit better. You increase the compile time checking. You avoid errors from passing in invalid constants because you can only pass in these. And you document which, which values are legal to you. So these are the only legal values that you can use for a day of the week. And very important, the switch actually tells you that you did not test for every single value that you have as valid values in there. I hope this can make your coding a bit easier as well as easier to read for other people. Hope you've enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.